everyone. Good morning. My name is Sahed Liawala. I am one of the physiotherapists from Physiofunction. Um, this is our clinic. I hope you're looking forward for today's class. It's not a great weather as you can see, so I hope you're some, doing something uh, good at doing these exercise classes um, to pass time, okay? Brilliant. So today's class, um, we've got a plan where we're going to do like five minutes of exercises, then we're going to do a three minutes of workout and then five minutes of um, another exercise circuit, okay? So we've got like this kind of a circuit. So I'm going to start the timer. We're going to start with a little bit of warm up, okay? So let's just start with some marching on the spot, some basic warming up those joints. It's a little bit not a great summer day today. So, you know, some of you might be having um, some, um, you know, stiffness in the joints. It's a good way of warming up yourself, okay? Brilliant. So this is a level four exercise class, and this is for people who can walk um, inside the house as well as outside the house with a stick or a walking pole um, independently. And to do these exercises, you should be able to do them in standing without using any support, um, unless you're doing a complex exercise. So if you think you, you can manage to do these things, then you're in the right class, Otherwise, um, you know, there are other classes happening in the week as well, which you can explore to see which class you uh, are more suitable in. Okay, brilliant. Now we're going to try and do some lifting the arm up. So obviously you can lift your affected arm as much as you can. So try to lift the non-affected arm and just try to get that knee bending, which is really good. So in this level, you. You should have some movement in the arm, which more important is your balance should be slightly good. Um, okay, now we're going to do some twisting. Great. So make sure you twist on the side which leg you are lifting up. So if I'm lifting my left leg, I am twisting on my left side. Okay, great. Brilliant. So now, put your hands down. You can join your hands if you want to, and we're just going to step forward, lift hand up. Okay, let's do that a few times. So three, we're gonna do, do two more, and one. Great, and the other leg. Good, we're gonna do five again on this side. Great, so you all been, uh, commenting how the workout has been going on and stuff like that. You've been how you've been finding the classes, you've been giving us feedback. That's really good. Thank you everyone for that. But if you feel um, anything from any class, please let us know about it. Okay, so now we're gonna step backwards. So we can try and improve as much as we can and give you the good experiences uh, needed for the class. Great. Okay, now we're gonna do some side stepping, okay? So side stepping, I'm not gonna move my hands for now. Just gonna work on some side stepping. Good. And if you think you're doing fine, then you can twist on the opposite side of your leg. Great, so I can even look on the opposite side whilst I'm doing the stepping. Brilliant. Good. And step to the side. Fantastic, okay. Now, we've got a couple minutes left. We're gonna do some lifting the toes up. So you go on your tiptoes. Now obviously this is a little bit, it's still warm up, but a little bit complex. So you can always hold onto the kitchen worktop or a chair in front of you, or you can hold your stick in front of you. Great, okay. Um, but if your balance is good, that's fine. No problem, you can do this without holding anything. Fantastic, one more we're gonna do, and down, okay. Now holding the hand, we're gonna do a squat, and then lift your hands up, okay? So we're gonna do five of those, and just bend as much as you can. And what I'm doing is I'm just trying to get my bottom as far back as possible. I'm not trying to get my feet over my toes, okay? So more of bending from the hips. And when you come up, really think about working on your bottom muscles. Great, and down. Fantastic, okay. Now, hands to hands in the middle. We're going to do some rotation work. Just get 
that spine muscles moving a little bit, getting them to work. Great. Fantastic. And keep to the side again. Brilliant. Good. So in today's class, we're going to need like a stick, a cushion. We're going to need some weights. You can have a can of beans or whatever you can find or some bottles in your house. Um, you're going to need a wall or a chair nearby you. Um, so yeah, if you've got these things, that'd be great. And make sure you've got a bottle of uh, water or a glass of water for yourself, okay? Brilliant. So that's uh, warm up done. So the first exercise we're going to do is stepping on and off the cushion. So you'll need a cushion in front of you and you'll need a stick in your hand, okay? So what we'll do is, obviously, if you can't hold a stick because of your affected arm, you're gonna have to hold one. So I'll just show with the stick first. So you're gonna do stepping on the cushion and down. Stepping on the cushion and down, okay? Now we have been doing this exercise, brilliant. So we're gonna start for a minute, okay? So on and off the cushion, great. We have been doing these exercises for, this is the sixth week now. So you should be able to start doing this exercise without holding on to a support, okay? But everyone is different. So if you think you can't still do that and you can't hold up stick, you can always do this holding both your hands like that and just lift as much as you can. Some people might be able to lift just this much, okay? So again, it depends on everyone's ability and you can modify them to your needs. Now, some people might want to hold onto a chair next to you just because stepping on an unsteady surface is a little bit complex for you for now. Or someone who started the exercises recently, they can, they might want to hold on to something. But eventually, think about letting that go and holding your hands like that, okay? Great, okay, fantastic. Well done, guys. So the next exercise we're going to do is I'm going to take that away. So what we're going to do is taking a step backwards, you make sure you lunge down, and as you come up, you bring your knee into your chest, okay? Then I stand there, then I do the exactly same thing with my other leg, and bring my knee into my chest. Now, if it is your affected leg, you do as much as you can. Some people might be able to just lift it up this much, which is absolutely fine, okay? So ready, steady, go. You might want to hold onto something next to you, because we've not done this before. So step back, make sure you bend both your knees and lift up. Now, another thing is make sure both your feet are pointing straight. So you step back, point it down, and then lift it up, okay? Great, so step back, make sure feet are pointing forward, you're looking forward, and then lift up. So this is really good for your balance, as well as for your lower limb muscle strength. Down, and then lift up, okay? If you don't have a chair, you can always use a stick next to you. So step backwards and lift up. Obviously, if you've got good grip, you can hold with that as well to get you to be more steadier. When you do the other leg, make sure you twist it, uh, you move it to the side. Back and then lift up, okay? So stepping backwards again and lift up. Then I'm gonna move to this side. You can, brilliant, okay. So. The next exercise we have got is you hold on to a weight. Obviously, I've got this weight, but you can wait. You can use a bottle, can of beans, whatever you get, okay? So we're gonna touch down, do a squat, lift your ball up, hand up as much as you can. It depends on what your grip is like, okay? So you can always hold this way without anything if you want to, if your grip is not great. So let's start, ready, steady, go. Touch down and go up. If you think you can't touch the floor, that's still okay. What you can do is you can go as low as you can and then lift up as much as you can. So again, you can modify this to your need, okay? Brilliant. And then up. Now I'm just gonna do some few for people who have not got good grip. You can hold your affected arm, touch down and lift up. Hold it, touch down, lift up, touch down, lift up, okay? Now this is another exercise we've been doing for a while now, so you should be able to now start, um, you should be able to start touching the floor really, unless you've started joining these exercises recently. 
okay? So this is the way you check your progression and see how you have been doing it. Two raise, lift up, press down again, and up. Fantastic, you've got two more exercises. So the next one, I've got these lovely colorful spots here, but you can, you can have some sticky tapes, put it on the floor, or you can have some colorful paper, whatever you can get, okay? So I'm gonna stand in the middle, and I'm gonna touch it, I'm gonna touch it, and I'm gonna touch it, okay? So I'm gonna do that for a minute. So obviously, depending on how big step you can take, you can move this step away if you want. So ready, steady, go. So touch forward, step forward, and step forward. Now if this is my good leg, I might want to, because I'm standing on my bad leg, affected leg, I might want to hold on to the stick, okay? But some of you might find your balance is great, you don't have to uh, hold on anything. But some people might want to hold, okay? Great, so I'm just gonna do stepping. Now obviously the more you do this, you might find that actually you, you are able to go a little bit more further. And you just bend your knee a little bit if you want to, but keep that knee straight, because that is your leg which is going to take a weight, okay? Great, and if you feel you, you just keep moving the paper or that little sticky tape on the floor, great. And back, okay, three more seconds. Good, okay, now I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the opposite leg. So if this is your affected leg, just, um, you might want to keep it a little bit close for now. So if this is my affected leg, I'm still holding the stick if you want to, or you might not want to hold the stick, okay? Great, and so I'm standing here, step, step, and step. If I feel like I can go a little bit more further, I can put this further or I can step a little bit away, okay? So step forward, step to the side, and step backwards, okay? Now stepping backwards is quite challenging at times because obviously when you're looking, you are fine. For some people, you know, they might have balance issues and if they don't look at things, they might, you know, they might feel a little bit unsteady. So, it is okay to look a little bit back, but eventually, you should be, the more you do it, by the end of the minute, you should be able to kind of start thinking now, where is the leg? And just think about if you can step on it without looking, so that will be a good way of working on your balance, okay? And again, as I said earlier, you can hold onto a chair or a stick, in front of you, just for your balance. Good. And if you are really doing good and you feel like this is easy for you, what you can do is you can do quick steppings. So you can do really quick steppings. Fantastic. Okay. So that's first circuit done. Now in the next circuit, you've got 10 minutes, 10 seconds to have a drink or something. So make sure you do have a few seconds rest or catch up a Okay, sorry, there was some connection problem. So, what next one is? Next one circuit is for three minutes, and you're going to do just two exercises, 10 times each, and you just keep on repeating them till the te uh, three minutes finish, okay? So the first one we're going to do is, you need a chair for this one, or you can hold onto the wall, okay? It's entirely up to you. So I'm going to hold onto a chair, so if your group is good, you can have your hands to the side, or you can ha have your hands together, and you, Step backwards, make sure the chair is supported by a chair so that it doesn't move forward. And I'm just going to do some press-ups. Okay? Brilliant. So we're going to do 10 press-ups. Once you've done 10 press-ups, then I'm going to join my hands and I'm just going to do some squats. So I'm going to do 10 squats. Then back again, 10 press-ups. Back again, 10 squats. Okay? So in three seconds, we're going to start doing this circuit. Okay? So everyone ready? And go. So hands together press up and make sure when you do this press up your hips are coming forward okay very important this one because sometimes i've seen some of my patients with stroke they tend to do this which is not right actually so if you do this way you're working on your muscles in a better way great brilliant good so we're going to do 10 of this one more i'm going to do and then I'm gonna come up, step forward, and you can hold your hands, 
and I'm just going to do some squats. So I'm gonna do 10 squats again. Great. Fantastic. Keep going. And make sure again, I'm gonna show you from the side, my hips are going backward. I think it's the same thing what we tried in the warm up. So hips going back rather than knees coming quite forward. Okay? And also when you're coming up, make sure your in your affected leg, your knee doesn't lock, okay? So if that's locking, then make sure you you keep it nice and soft and work on those knee muscles, okay? So hold the chair again. I'm gonna do 10 press-ups. One, two, three, four. Again, really thinking about getting that chest close to the hands as much as possible, getting that hip forward. Six, seven, eight, good, nine, and last one, ten. Great. Okay, now back again forward, hands joining together, and we're going to do some squats, and good up. Good. Down, and back up. Fantastic. Now, some of you might be lifting your heel up whilst you do the squat, so make sure the heels stay down, and take that body weight on your legs okay good fantastic now some of you if you struggle to go that low just do as much as you can but we've been doing working on the squats for a while now so you should be able to go a little bit more deeper than, than what you did in the first session okay good and if you've got family around they can always see how you're doing and maybe you know give you some more feedback if you did how did you do before, if they think you have improved, so that way you can track your progress. And make sure you do comment below if you have progressed in some of the exercises, what we've been doing now, okay? Brilliant, good. We do one more, and now we're going to do 10 press-ups again. So we've got, ooh, we've got three seconds. Let's just do one, fantastic, okay. That was really good, guys. We got 15 seconds break. Make sure you have a drink or just do some nice breathing exercises, taking deep breath from your nose and breathing out through your mouth, okay? So deep breath. Brilliant, okay. So the next circuit is for five minutes again. We're gonna do five exercises for one minute each. I'm going to take the pots away. So the first one you're going to do is stepping over the stick. So I've got a stick down on the floor and I'm standing on one end of the stick then I'm going to go in the middle but forward and at the back but sideways so I'm coming from there to here so forward and then back okay so ready steady go we're going to do this for a minute and back to side forward back to the side forward back to the side now obviously if you I think we've done this a couple of times before so now you should be able to do a little bit more quicker your legs should be able to move a little bit quicker, hopefully, if you've been doing regularly this exercise. Um, so just track that as well. Great. Brilliant. Obviously, if you need something to hold, please do make sure you are safe when you do this. And also, important thing is you lift your leg enough so that it doesn't get, you know, you don't move the stick or you don't trip over the stick, okay? Great. So forward and backward so just in three direction great we've got nine seconds left do as many as you can although it's a nice strength exercise for legs but also if you do quickly it can be a nice cardio exercise lovely so the next exercise we've got is a chest press forward okay so you hold two weights in your hand and we're just going to go forward and back okay obviously if you don't have enough grip or strength in this hand to hold something you can always Hold a tin in your hand, wrap it around with your good hand, and then just go forward and back. And we do that for a minute, okay? So I'm going to have this ball in front of me, and then I'm just going to go forward and back. Now, posture is very important. When you go forward, make sure you don't do this, okay? So make sure you keep upright. Work on that core muscles. Good. To keep you nice and upright, okay? And we just go forward and back. Lovely. Great, fantastic. Keep going forward, brilliant. And 
maybe you can do one thing is you can count count how many you've done in the in a minute and if you think you've done like 20 15 25 you write that number down and then you can check back you can self track your uh, number again if you can do a little quicker or you've got stronger or you can use more weight good you've got 10 more seconds left keep going forward good and make sure in the end you go you straighten your elbow if you can and if doing this exercise okay I'm just gonna pause it to show you doing this exercise if someone has a very heavy and weak arm and you can't go too forward or the hand feels very heavy you can always hold on to your forearm to bring it forward and back okay all right or you can hold around the wrist to bring it forward and back wherever you feel comfortable and lighter so we're gonna start again so the next exercise is we are going to stand with your one leg either in front or you're going to stand in one line okay um, so there are two ways you can do this you stand with one leg in front of the other so let's do your right leg forward you hold the stick and then we're just going to go up and down in that position okay if your balance is good if you can't stand in this position you have your one leg in front keep some distance and then lift up and down and eventually you can come in the line okay so i'm going to do this for people who can't do standing in one line and we're just going to go up and down obviously if you can't hold anything you hold your hand and just go up and down okay so 30 seconds i'm going to go up and down that way great now after 30 seconds i'm going to go sideways good so this is a really good balance exercise challenging your balance also make sure you you know you work from your core and your spine rather than doing this okay feet are definitely for uh, facing forward your feet are not pointing out or anything good if you struggle with this as well it'd be really good for you to then stand in this position and hold on to a chair and just maintain the position okay now the next exercise we're going to swap our legs so you bring your other leg forward so this time your left leg forward so again either you can bring it straight forward or you can step in one line depending on how hard your balance is and again you can either hold on to a stick this way or hold on to a stick that way or you just want to hold on to your hand now again some of you might have good grip and good strength in the arm so what you can do is you can hold on to a weight and then lift it up and down okay so again that is a good progression to make this exercise a little bit more challenging for you and also you feel that you're working on your core muscles when you do this okay so depending on your ability you can modify this exercise as much as you want good also initially you might want to be here then come back in the middle okay great now after 30 seconds you're going to go sideways great brilliant so keep going from side to side good and again thinking about keeping those feet straight working on that posture one of the other thing you can do sometimes is have a mirror in front of you or do do these exercises in front of a mirror or just record these exercises whilst you do them so that you can see how you do it how your posture is because getting that feedback is very important okay so we've got last exercise left to do which we're going to do for a minute you hold your hands if you've got issues with your grip and then just bring your knee as much high as you can aiming to come towards the elbow so this is a really good core exercise and remember to bring your knee and your opposite shoulder together okay we do this for a minute okay good if you think you have got good range and some good strength in your affected arm you can always keep it that way and go sideways like that again depends on where your abilities are good good fantastic brilliant so nice twist on the side and if you want you can even move your head 
to get that core muscle working better. Good. Brilliant. Keep going sideways. Good. Good. You've got 10 more seconds. Brilliant. Good. Lovely. And we stop there. Okay. So this is end of your circuit. We're going to do some cool down before that. If you want to have a drink or just do some, you know, just sit in a chair, you can. The next cool down is going to be in the chair, which I'm going to forward. So everyone sit down in the chair and just relax yourself. And first thing we'll do is just stretch out those arm muscles. We've done some press ups, we've done some chest press as well. So lift it up. Good. Go as high as you can. Great. Hold it there. Good. If you can go up that high, think about now straightening your elbows if you can. Good. And gently bring it down. Fantastic. Okay. Now you lift your hand up to the to your chest level and move it to the side. Brilliant. You can even look onto the look towards your thumb so that you can get a little bit more twitch. And also you stretch all your shoulder muscles and then back to the other side. Now if you've got dislocated shoulder or any painful shoulder, just be a little bit careful. Do as much as you can. Or you might just want to avoid this if it's too painful, okay? And bring it down. Now, sometimes this is really good to work on that affected arm. Again, depending on how much tight that hand is, how much weak that hand is. So it might be good to have a pillow and uh, just something you can do later um, after the cool down period or maybe in the week, okay? Is you keep your hand and also just try to work on stretching that thing, uh, stretching those fingers. If some of you might have curled fingers or some of you might have really tight hand, so this is a way you can just really try to facilitate your hand muscles so you can rub with your good hand or you can get one of the family members to do this for you and also you can do is some soft tissue work around your forearm okay which can help you loosen up because some of you might be missing out on physiotherapy or you know or or doing your regular exercises with a therapist so you might be finding that your hands are getting a little bit stiffer or shoulders getting a little bit stiffer so obviously you've been doing these exercises but we don't include much about the um, so just try to do this on a daily basis or how much ever you can, how much ever you remember. And once you do that, then you can just work on some movement where you twist your forearm in both positions. Now, some of you might be really good with your hand movements. You might not have to do this, but some of you might want to do this or, uh, you know, sometimes you might be getting tighter when you are getting fatigued. So you can do this then. Great, okay. Now after this, um, we are going to now do a little bit of work on the legs. So you, with your good hand, lift your leg up into the chest. We've got nearly a minute, um, a minute and a half left. Good, hold it there for a few seconds. Make sure you're stand, uh, sitting upright and down. Now the other one up, brilliant. And Hold it there for a few seconds. Good. If you want, you can even hook around like that, um, depending on, again, how you can do this and bring it down. Okay, now I'm going to step out. Good, step as much out as you can and stretch this leg. So obviously if you find these exercises quite easier for you, you want a little bit more challenge or you want to do some exercises lying on the floor, make sure you do visit the level five exercise, which happens on Friday. Uh, from a, one of my colleagues called Kieran um, and he does standing as well as lying on the floor exercises as well, okay? Um, also another thing is if you've been doing level 4 for a few weeks now and you think you are progressing quite well, you might want to do some exercises in level 5, okay? Which will be actually a good progression for you or some people who've just recently joined and find level 4 a little bit hard might want to um, 
check out the exercise class on Wednesday, uh, which is by Matt Brinkley, um, and you can do a little bit work in chair as well as some standing. So you've got lots of options, make sure you're in the right class, otherwise sometimes people can feel a little bit frustrated as well if they can't do certain activities. Obviously I do try to give as much um, prompt around uh, different modifications of the exercises, but again, you know, um, it is difficult for everyone. If there's anything in specific... Activity completed. Brilliant, activity completed. Um, if there's anything in specific, please make sure you comment and, and when I do the class next time, I'll make sure either I talk about that or mention that or, you know, change my exercise plan accordingly, okay? Brilliant, fantastic. Um, and if you want, you can do some breathing exercise as well, taking deep breath through your nose, breathing out through your mouth, okay? After this, and uh, make sure you have plenty of rest after these exercises. They are a little bit difficult, um, but I'm sure, you know, uh, the more you do it, the more you'll start getting um, better with them, okay? Fantastic, brilliant. Um, take care everyone, stay safe, till then, goodbye.